Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are taking a look at Martin Truex Jr.'s 2023 Dover race win. This was, uh, oddly enough, the day after his brother won his first career Xfinity race at Dover, which uh, seems to be kind of a fitting place for the Truexes. And, uh, go figure. You just had to come say hi, huh? Well, you haven't knocked everything down. I'm a little proud of you for that. Oh, there one goes. Well, at least it's just one. Yeah, no, you're going to come this way. You're going to come forward. Oh, there we go. Okay, so uh, he has made his appearance. He's making it very clear I need to go to bed. But first, I must record a couple more videos. Put you on the ground, you deal, bud. Okay, let's get back to it now. Uh, so... 2023 Dover car. Uh, let's go ahead and see here. Uh, one of 308 for the Bass Pro Shops Dover car. Now, something I did notice about this car was it was a little bit more gray. I'll go into that here in just a minute. Uh, but it is the Worth 400 at Dover, April 30th or 31st, due to a rain delay. Uh, that's the pin there. And then we also have the race win card, and it says May 1st. So, yep, there you can see because of the rain delay, it's off by a day. And then there's the race win sticker for the Cup Series. Uh, back of the card, it'll show how well he dominated. To 400 total laps. Uh, how many did he lead? Two times for only 68 laps? Huh, I thought he led more laps than that. Um, but anyway, it says two, two times for 64 laps. So, uh, But let's go ahead and get right down to it here. Um, so if you look here, the biggest thing I noticed about this car was it was very gray. So there goes the rest of it. Okay. Okay, see, this is where their problem is. Hey, kitty boy. Uh, anyway, let's go down the left side here. So we got our number 19. We got the Bass Pro Shops Club. You see we got tracker ATVs, boats. We got Reesers. Um, we got a lot of confetti on the windshield, a little bit on the roof, a lot on the back window as well. A uh, decent amount on the deck lid. But So it's it's probably about a 6 on the confetti scale. Uh, not quite as much on the hood. So you can see the Bass Pro Shops Club there across the hood. And then over here we've got the number 19. I love, love the color of this car. Uh, I, I, for some reason, I want to say, I'm trying to look here, see if I've got the other one handy. I do. I have the Sonoma car handy, but I'm going to show you what I'm talking about when I say that I think this car just seems more gray. It could be the confetti, but it just seems like the, the car is actually physically brighter. So there's the, the Sonoma car. Really? <laughs> you just can't leave me alone, can you? Not for five minutes. Okay, well, uh... What are you doing? Um, so anyway, yeah, what I was trying to say was like the this one just seems brighter in color than this one does, or at least definitely brighter than the Clash one ended up. So I'm not 100% sure exactly why I think that looks a little bit brighter than it, than it probably is. Um, but nonetheless, the, the color scheme is still a really, really good one. Um, there's definitely no doubt about that. Now we move around to the right side. We do get a little bit here on the right side where the burnout was. No shredded tire, but you can see all the rubber buildup around the wheel well. That looks pretty darn good, and we do have some confetti on the tire. Um, the, the rear deck lid here does pop open. It is an elite. Also, the roof flaps do pop open here. Uh, we do have the posable wheels and the bouncy rear suspension. Uh, it also has the short, correct spoiler as well. And then that's just the undercarriage. Oh, it's only DIN number four. Well, that's kind of cool. I didn't realize that because I didn't read that real well. So DIN four, uh, so pretty low DIN. But uh, yeah, overall, this is a good solid car. I think it's got a lot more confetti. I think I'm gonna. I think I personally prefer the the Clash or Sonoma cars over this one specifically. And it has mostly to do with the fact that I'm not a huge fan of this much confetti. But there's nothing wrong with the confetti. I just think this paint scheme looks so darn good. I, I don't want the confetti interrupting it. So. Um, overall, still a really good car. We got some decent detail on the wheels as well, so always a fun one there. Um, not to mention the fact that Truex winning at Dover. What else is new? You know, he seems to when he has his good seasons, he's getting a win at Dover. So, um, anyway, though, that will pretty much wrap up this review. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, turn on the bell. A notification bell and subscribe make sure you've got your bell on because we will be live for the daytona 500 this coming weekend so make sure you are ready for that stream but other than that that'll wrap it up we're gonna go yep one more why not while we're at it go ahead and say uh go ahead and tell everyone good night uh or good afternoon whenever we post the video because i'm gonna have to redo that <laughs> but anyway guys that'll wrap up my video thank you all for watching we'll catch you in the next one